This is Greg Hiley in the chapel at Aquinas Institute of Theology, bringing a word of hope for Wednesday of the 25th week of Ordinary Time. One of the things that surprised me, it continues to surprise me in reading the scriptures, is that whenever Jesus preaches in the Gospels, it seems that he also heals. I don't hear this talked about a lot. We talk about Jesus the preacher, but what about Jesus the healer? In our passage from chapter 9 of Luke's Gospel today, Jesus says, or the, the Gospel says, that Jesus gave the disciples the power and the authority to cure diseases. Now, what on earth could that mean for us as disciples? We're very used to talking about ourselves as disciples now, and we're very used to thinking about how do I talk about Jesus and how do I proclaim his kingdom in the world? We are missionary disciples on that mission of proclaiming Jesus. But if Jesus, whenever he preached, also cured the sick, what is that asking of us as we proclaim Jesus in the world? Perhaps we can take a clue from a tomorrow's memorial of Saints Cosmas and Damien. And I'll say more about Cosmas and Damien tomorrow. But the point today is they were twin brothers in third century Syria who, they were doctors. They cured the sick and they did it for free. We give away our discipleship. As the passage from Luke says today, we don't pack extra shoes extra baggage, extra money, we travel light to proclaim Jesus and to heal the sick. And so I leave you with this thought today of how do I proclaim Jesus and how do I heal in the world in which I live? How do I heal the sick? How do I restore people to the good news that Jesus has promised us?